Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Firstly, apologies for the croakiness of my voice as I still have the flu. And also, today we are looking at a German case, and my pronunciation will probably be a little bit off as I haven't spoken German since high school. Today we are looking at the Weidenen school shooting at the Alpertville Wilschulech in Weidenen, Germany, which was committed by Tim Kreschmer on the 11th of March 2009, which was followed by a shooting in Wendlingen. Also a massive shout out to Alice too for recommending this case. Kreschmer was born in Lutenbach, Germany on the 26th of July 1991 and had a sister. His father, Jörg, ran a packaging company which employed 20 people including his wife, Ute. In his youth, he was described as a spoiled child and his mother did all she could to fulfill his demands. Ultimately, he did not accept loss well and this was most well shown in playing table tennis. He was an avid player and hoped to become professional, having won a number of local tournaments. According to his coach, Croatian Marko Habijanjek, who coached Kretschmir at the Erdmannhausen Sports Club from 2000 until 2003, the then young teenager would have a temper tantrum, yell and throw his racket when he lost, put down his teammate, and whenever there was a disagreement, his mother would always take his side. Attending Albertville Gilschulech for high school, one of seven secondary schools and one of two Gilschules in Weindenen, in Rems Moor Kreis in Banden Gutenburg in Germany. As he got older, he began suffering from depression, and a friend noted that he was lonely and frustrated and felt rejected by society, with an anonymous friend describing him as a quiet individual who, in his later years of high school, began to withdraw from friends. A friend described him as a loner to the newspaper The Spiegel. While in high school, he began to show an interest in video games and played Counter-Strike, had various online profiles including on myvideo.de, quick.de and other websites and also played poker on Cafe Tunix after school. His profile on quick.de showed a lack of meaning in his life with his profile stating, what do I like? Nothing. What do I hate? Nothing. Job? I'm afraid I'm still a pupil. Online, he began to show an interest in dominatrix by women against men. He also began to play with airsoft guns and shot his guns in the forest behind his home and in his basement. He noted his interest in guns to his friend Marcel Rupp. However, Rupp thought that his interest in guns was normal. Additionally, his father, Jorg, would take his son to Lutenbach Gun Club, where they would fire high-caliber weapons together. He had no police record and no criminal record. However, he struggled in school and graduated in 2008 with relatively poor grades, which have prevented him from directly entering an apprenticeship. This exacerbated his depression, and he then attended the commercial high school Donner plus Kiern in Weidlingen to prepare for an apprenticeship in a commercial career. He also began researching previous mass shootings, including the 2002 Earth School Massacre, the 2006 Enstenton School Shooting, as well as the Columbine School Shooting. In 2008, he received treatment as an inpatient at the Weissenhof Psychiatric Clinic near Heilbronn. After being discharged, he was treated for clinical depression and met with a therapist five times about his anger and violent urges before ending his treatment of his own volition. However, his family was well integrated into the local community in Lutenbach and Kretschmir never complained about arguments at home. Three weeks before the shooting, Kretschmir read a letter to his parents stating that he was suffering and could not go on. On the night of the 10th of March 2009, his last night alive, Kretschmir played the first person shooter game Far Cry 2 online as Jaws Predator 1. On the 11th of March 2009 at 9.30am, Kreschmir entered his former high school, the Albertville Rilschuller, carrying a 9mm Beretta 92FS semi-automatic pistol, which he had stolen from his parents' bedroom. He was recognised by teachers and former classmates. His father was a member of the local Schutzenwien, a local marksman club, and owned 15 guns. He kept all of his guns except for the 9mm Beretta and a gun safe as required by German law. Making his way to the first floor, 
Kreshmir entered class 9C where a Spanish class was taking place and he fatally shot 9 students in the head at close range. Entering class 10D where a German lesson was being undertaken he killed 2 students and wounded an additional 9 students of whom 2 would die on their way to the hospital. The teacher of the class locked the door when Kreshmir left the classroom to reload. Kreshmir attempted to unsuccessfully shoot the lock off the door and when this was unsuccessful he went to a chemistry laboratory where he shot and killed the teacher while students jumped out of the windows. After the 2002 Erft school massacre, Germany had implemented a coded alert informing teachers and students of a massacre. This was Miss Comma is coming. AMOC spelled backwards. The school's headmaster broadcasted the coded announcement alerting teachers of the massacre, causing them to lock the classroom doors. In the three classrooms, Kreshmir had killed nine students aged between 14 and 16, eight of whom were female, and a female teacher having fired more than 60 rounds. The students were 16-year-old Jacqueline Khan, 17-year-old Ibrahim Halilaj, 16-year-old Stephanie Tanja Kleisch, 15-year-old Selina Marx, 16-year-old Viktorija Minasenko, 16-year-old Nicole Elizabeth Nalepa, 15-year-old Chantal Schilch, 15-year-old Jana Natasha Schober, and 16-year-old Christina Stobel. At 9.33 a.m. a student telephoned the place and three police officers arrived at the Albert Wilgil Schulich at 9.35 a.m. entering the school. Kreshmir shot at the police officers before fleeing the scene, killing two female teachers in the hall and left a large amount of unused ammunition. The three teachers killed in the massacre were trainees, 24-year-old Sabrina Schulich, 24-year-old Michaela Kolech and 24-year-old Nina Denise Mayer. An additional nine other students and one teacher were injured, all of whom were taken to nearby hospitals. Fleeing the school and heading into a park nearby a psychiatric institution, he killed 56-year-old Franz Joseph, who was a gardener at the psychiatric institution. Police searched for Kreshmir for hours, with news reports confirming that Kreshmir was on the run and warned motorists in case Kreshmir was attempting to hitchhike. At 10 a.m., he carjacked a Volkswagen Scharen at a park in Weinenden, ordering the driver Igor Wolf to drive towards Rendlingen, 40 kilometers or 25 miles from Rheindenen. During the trip, Wolf asked Kreshmir why he was doing this, and he replied that he was doing it for fun, because it is fun. At 11 a.m., police raided the Kreshmir family home. Shortly after 12 p.m., just before the junction to the A8 Autobahn, Wolf steered the car onto the grass and jumped from the car towards a police patrol car. Kreshmir immediately left the car, ran towards the Reft industrial site and entered a Volkswagen car showroom through the main entrance, where three salespeople and two customers were present. Threatening a car dealer, he demanded a key for one of the Volkswagens. The salesman escaped while Kreshmir was distracted. Firing 13 bullets, Kreshmir shot and killed salesman 36-year-old Dennis Pulijic, as well as 46-year-old customer Sigurd Peter Gustav Wilk. As Kreshmir reloaded his gun, another dealer and customer fled through the rear exit. At 12.30 p.m. he shot at a passing car, however the driver was not injured. Police then engaged in a shootout with Kreshmir, hitting him once in each leg. Returning to the dealership, he fired a further 12 shots at the police before leaving for the rear of the dealership. He ran across a yard to a neighboring business complex before being shot and killed by two police officers in an unmarked police vehicle. In total, 112 rounds had been fired and 16 people had been killed, including Kreshmir. In response to the shootings, the then German president Horst Kollech said that he was appalled and saddened by the killings, while Chancellor Angela Merkel described the shootings as unimaginable. The then Minister, President of Bader Württemberg and future European Commissioner for Budget and Human Resources, as well as European Commissioner for Digital Economy and Society, Gunther Ottenier, flew to the Albertville Wilschulech shortly after the crime had taken place. An ecumenical church service was held in Weindenen on the evening of the 11th of March, with Protestant, Catholic and Muslim clerics present. German flags were flown at half-mask until the 13th of March. 
On the 16th of March, prosecutors initiated preliminary proceedings against Kirchmeier's father for negligent homicide since the 9mm Beretta had not been properly locked away, per German gun legislation, and his remaining 14 guns were confiscated. His father would voluntarily relinquish his gun ownership authorization. On the same day, psychological support began in various rooms outside the school premises for students with classes resuming on the 23rd of March. The families of five victims wrote an open letter on the 17th of March to Merkel, Krulich and Ortingach, calling for a prohibition on young people's access to guns in gun clubs, less violence on television and a prohibition of violent video games. On the 21st of March 2009, a central funeral service was held in the Catholic Church of St. Karl Borromaus in Weindenen, which was broadcast in the Herbert Winterka Stadium and to other churches and halls. Among the 8,500 mourners in Weindenen were Koller and Prime Minister Gunther Ottinger, who held eulogies, as well as Merkel, her deputy Frank Walter Steinmeier, as well as the entire state government of Baden-Württemberg. Almost two months after the killing spree, Kretschmer's parents and his sister moved to a new city and now live under a new identity. In June 2009, the German parliament passed legislation improving handgun security with an electronic nationwide weapons registry, increased age limitations for large caliber weapons with random inspections on gun owners' homes in order to ensure that requirements for locked gun storage was being met. In November of the same year, the Public Prosecutor's Department in Stuttgart announced that Kreschmer's father had been indicted on charges of negligent homicide, bodily injury caused by negligence, and violation of a weapons law. On the 10th of February 2011, the State Court in Stuttgart found his father guilty of involuntary manslaughter in 15 cases, bodily harm caused by negligence, and the negligent abandonment of a weapon. His father received a suspended sentence of one year and nine months months, which upon appeal was reduced to 18 months in 2013. In 2012, stone slabs were erected in front of the Albertville Riel Schulich, one for each of the students and teachers who died in the massacre. One of the classrooms where the shooting took place was converted into a memorial with 15 empty desks, one to commemorate each of the victims of the massacre. In 2014, the memorial Broken Wing by Martin Schoenich was constructed near the Hermann Schwab Hall, northeast of the Albertville Riel Schulich. Inside the construction are the names of those killed as well as a poem. In the same year, Kreschmer's parents told the media that they always loved their son and did not have an explanation for his actions. The case became infamous in Germany, with four documentaries made and broadcast on Spiegel TV, SWR, ZDF and FreeSat. Additionally, German singer Jan Hegenburg addressed the massacre in his song Nothing Learned, The Emptiness After Weindenen. Additionally, German rapper Timmy Hendrix referred to the massacre in his song Bad Day. However, Krishmir's actions inspired other killings with 18-year-old David Ali Sonboli, an Iranian-German citizen, killing nine people before killing himself on the evening of the 22nd of July 2016 at a McDonald's restaurant near the Olympia shopping mall in Muschach in the district of Munich, having visited the crime scene in Weindenen in June 2015 and again on the 11th of March 2016. Sonboli conducted internet research into the Columbine High School shooting and saw himself as the ghost of Kreshmir. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to inform yourself of when new videos come out. Also, why not hit that like button and leave a nice comment? It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet, have an amazing day, and remember the truth is always more interesting than fiction.